This is what's leaving people hungry. This is what is causing their cravings and making them reach for those unhealthy foods. It's no wonder people are desperate for junk food when their meals aren't satisfying them. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. I'm a health coach and I post videos on a high fat, nutrient dense way of eating. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, feel free to share, and make sure to subscribe. Last week, the Heart Foundation in Australia changed its position on a number of foods. Full fat dairy, so milk, yogurt, and cheese are now considered a healthy option. There is no reason to choose skim instead. They also got rid of the upper limit for how many eggs you can eat in a day or a week. So on the surface, this seemed like a good thing. We believe there is not enough evidence to support a restriction on full fat milk, yogurt, and cheese for a healthy person, as they also provide healthy nutrients like calcium. But then, in the very next breath, they say, for people who suffer high cholesterol or heart disease, we recommend unflavored reduced fat milk, yogurt, and cheese, and eating less than seven eggs per week. Well, which is it? Are these foods healthy or are they not? Okay, so a bit of a disclaimer here. This video is probably gonna be more of a rant than anything else, so buckle up. We have gotten to the point where none of these dietary recommendations make sense anymore. There are so many conflicting statements coming out and not even just from different sources, but as we saw here, from the same sources as well. How is anyone supposed to know what they are supposed to be eating? How is anyone supposed to determine what is healthy? Well, I think it is great and a step in the right direction that the Heart Foundation has come out and said that full fat dairy and eggs are not a concern for our health. They can actually be beneficial. They are beneficial. The same statement also goes on to say that they have introduced an upper limit for how much red meat you should be eating in a week, how much lean red meat you should be eating in a week, and it should be no more than 350 grams. Poor diet is the leading contributor to heart disease, accounting for 65.5% of the total burden of disease. Yet, if Australians ate the recommended daily intake of vegetables, it would reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease by approximately 16.6% and save $1.4 billion in health spending based on 2015 to 16 estimates. They didn't even mention here that red meat increases your disease risk. And they shouldn't, because it doesn't. And on their position statement based on red meat, they state that the evidence they have is based on observational studies and does not show causation. They say their findings require careful consideration. If that is the case, then how can you put these limits? How can you say that someone should only eat seven eggs in a week if they are diabetic? How does that make sense if you're also saying that nothing is conclusive? The problem is that everything is just so inconsistent. The Heart Foundation is putting out this limit of seven eggs a week for people who are diabetic, well, on the other hand, Diabetes Australia says that eggs are not linked to the disease and that they are a healthy option. We have complicated things beyond belief. Eggs are not the problem. Meat is not the problem. These foods that we have been eating for hundreds of thousands of years are not the cause of these diseases that have only spiraled out of control in the last 100. Now, although I am obviously a big supporter of an animal-based diet, of the importance of meat, eggs, animal foods in general, I'm not here to blame vegetables. They're not the problem here either. I think we all know that the real problem lies with processed and refined sugar and processed and refined carbs. The issue is that when we put these limitations on fat and protein, this is what's leaving people hungry. This is what is causing their cravings and making them reach for those unhealthy foods. It's no wonder people are desperate for junk food when their meals aren't satisfying them. 
Anyways, that's just my take on it, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think of the Heart Foundation changing their stance on full fat dairy, dropping the upper limit for eggs for healthy individuals. Let me know down below. Remember to give this video a like, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.